It's CNC time. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bar and we're gonna make the x-axis. The x-axis is just gonna move along this direction. We're gonna do that by using two of these double stack plates on either side, add the bearings, and then we're gonna add the stabilizers to make it nice and smooth. And then it's just tensioning and little chaining from there on out. So uh, let's get started. So that's basically the x-axis in a nutshell. Like, we have the stabilizers and we have the uh, top bearings so that it's nice and smooth on the top. All we have to do is really add the bottoms, uh, the bottom bearings and then the motor mounts, but you guys don't wanna wait for that, so I'll skip to the y-axis. But uh, there we go, x-axis done. All right, so now we've got the x-axis done. Everything's working fine, everything's tensioned, very smooth on all sides, no matter exactly where you push it. But uh, now it's time to work on the y-axis, so uh, let's get started. so far. Uh, I didn't get a chance to film this, but I, I finished the z-axis over here. Uh, all I really want is I have the router, which is, it's a pretty nice, it's pretty nice. It's in a, it's a uh, Avid Power 1.25 horsepower router. It's pretty powerful, uh, to be quite honest. It's pretty cheap. It's like $70. But uh, the z-axis, it's pretty much just a lead screw. Goes down, goes back up, nothing really fancy. 
And uh, I just detached the reprint piece, which goes to the, the thing over here. But uh, yeah, now we have all of the three actors pulling on. We got a uh, rig up our motors, which we got right here. These are NEMA 23 stepper motors, pretty nice. Pretty powerful too. Uh, two for the x-axis, one for the uh, z-axis, and one for the y-axis. So let's get to putting those on. but we got one right here, one on the other side, and one on behind on the y-axis. Let me see it. But uh, I haven't done the z-axis yet because I actually don't have holes up here yet because I want to take, uh, when, when I make the uh, The attachment, which will eventually go here to spin it, uh, there's a certain amount of tension I'm gonna want it to have for the belt, and so I'm gonna shift this around and then make the holes, that way I can determine like where exactly I want it. Probably like somewhere on the end, right there. Yeah, but for now, I'm gonna keep it like that, and until the belt's get here, not much else to do, so I'll update you once the belt the belt to get here, so uh, yeah. All right. So what you'll see is that I've done some stuff off camera because I forgot to film, but uh, one of them is that I got the Z motor right here, the Z belt right here, and one of the X belts, or Y belts right here. And I got electronics right here, which I'm about to tell you about. So let's just get to that. Here's your electronic components. We got our T6600 uh, T4 board. It says three drivers and just one board, or four drivers and just one board. And we got our uh, Mac 3 breakout board right here. Uh, I think it's a 20. 36 volt power supply. Uh, everything's all wired up. I've already grounded it. I've already added the uh, the neutral line and, uh, and ground and stuff right there. That's right, connected right here. This board's already powered up. It was not very complicated. So, all I have to do now is connect our stepper wires with the long wires. That way, everything can get back. So, I'm going to move everything back there. So after doing the same wiring and belting process a total of three more times for three different motors, the CNC was finally finished. And so, uh, with that being said, I got a bunch of test cuts I'm about to show you. So after doing a lot of changing the step proportions and changing up acceleration and velocity and a lot of test cuts as you may be able to tell, we're finally finished. In the end, I was able to test cut on three different surfaces, which was birch wood, polycarbonate, and acrylic, and it was successful on all three. I do want to test aluminum in the near future, but I don't exactly have any aluminum sheets which I can do that on. So we're done. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do, and uh, that's the end. Thank you.